Hey Virgos, it's Kelly. Welcome back. So I thought I would try to give you a quick reading for the week ahead. Um, I'm still recovering, so thank you for all your kind words and um, all your well wishes. Yes, it has been a doozy the past week. Um, but yeah, we are on the mend. Um, this video will not be too, too long because I want to try to reserve my strength in my voice and everything else. So yeah, I just wanted to get something out there. Happy birthday if you've had a birthday the past week or today or going up, coming up this week. I wish you the best of all birthdays. Um, as far as personal readings, you guys, um, you can still get them. Um, I prefer if you want to do a text reading, it would be a lot easier for me, but if you need a phone reading, the link is in the description box below this video. Okay, so let's just take a look at the week ahead. We're already in September, obviously. Um, September, so the 9th through the 15th, and we'll see what messages come out here for you. Okay. So you will receive some mess a message from someone this week, um, bringing some good news to you, okay? Um, positive news, someone being very excited, want to share something with you this week, something that's happening to them, or um, good news about you to bring to you. So with the Six of Wands, you know, this is success. This is victory. Um, so you're going to hear about that this week, you know, whether it's in your own life, could be in somebody else's life they're sharing with you, or they're, they're bringing you some good news about something for you some positive energy like th this feels like a messenger to me like a messenger okay let's see what else here okay we have two two swords so you have a decision you're gonna have to make this week it looks like um i see you trying to get some balance but i feel mostly like there might be a compromise that gets made this week or it's like time to make some kind of a decision or a compromise um and this is like an intuitive decision so it's kind of like going within and thinking about which path you're going to choose or, or what you want to do okay and you also have four of cups here so there may be a, an element here of um well, there's definitely going to be a surprise. You're going to have a surprise coming in this week for sure. But I, I do kind of feel like there's this, do I want to do this or not? Because there's a little bit of indifference or apathy, okay, um, about some decision that's coming in. Okay. But there's also, apart from all that with the Four of Cups, I do kind of feel like there is a sense of feeling a lack of fulfillment also this week. Now, that could be you or another person, but there is this very voidant kind of energy here. Um, or someone who has a hard time making a decision, having a hard time choosing, having a lot of options, too. Yeah, so you might have a lot of options coming up this week for you, Virgo. Maybe two, maybe I mean, there might be two or four that you need to make a decision. Um, I'm also seeing like two here and two here. Why is my camp get wonky? Two here and two here. So you got cut. You got to cut a four in half and make a decision. Yeah, that's gonna play out for you this week, okay? Because I also feel like. Um, they're telling me this this might have something to do about being in a couple with someone so whether you want to decide to be a couple with one person or another and that's part of what the decision I feel like is showing up here you also have the seven of wands so there is some energy playing out where you have to stay on your ground in regards to any kind of pushback that comes at you you may have your dukes up um, or you may have to put them up be defensive have boundaries make it clear Make it clear. Don't let anyone, person, places, or people, places, or things try to tell you how you got to do something. You know, it, this kind of feels like don't, like I'm hearing, don't be a sheep. You know what I mean? Like um, just because everybody else is going to do it and you don't feel comfortable doing it or, or going in a particular direction or whatever, um, don't let any, uh, this is about some kind of pressure 
and I feel like you're going to feel some pressure this week, and I feel like you're going to have to stand up for yourself. Okay, you also have the Nine of Cups, so this is good. There is a wish coming true for you this week, and you're going to find out about it. Maybe you'll blow out your candles, or maybe you blew your candles out, and whatever that wish was that you made on your candle, it's coming true this week. So you're going to find out about this. I don't know exactly what your wish is, but that's your personal thing. Um, I also see your health improving this week in some way. Thank God. I mean, I'll take that. Um, and material abundance, right? So maybe some more money in your bank account. Or and maybe you find a really great deal on chicken soup. <laughs> There's just like, I'm seeing some excess an ability like bun abundance excess it could even be your feelings your emotions some of you also have um might have a reunion of some sort or get together with some friends this week um maybe some sisters or some people in your life that are very important to you um a circle of support these people are going to be very supportive whatever you need you can lean on them, and you can, they're going to show up for you this week, these people. Even if it's just a girl's night out or a guy's night out, or just you and two other people, this is like, these are your, these are your people. <laughs> That's what I keep hearing. Um, so you also have justice, right? So there is some type of like win-win solution. Something's going to pan out in your favor this week, Virgo. Uh, maybe the verdict comes in. It could be a tax issue or a, a legal issue, but I feel like you're gonna you're gonna get the um, not guilty. That's what I'm hearing. Um, or be acquitted of something. Uh, it's something here is gonna balance out. It's gonna work out. There, there's definitely like a win-win solution, and you're also gonna get some truth. You're gonna find out some truth this week. The truth is gonna come out could be in relation to a king of pentacles and another virgo a capricorn or a taurus and also you're going to realize some kind of truth about yourself right and something maybe about your money or your your uh, something to do with like taxes and legal stuff that maybe uh, you might get like a like if you did something with your taxes, you might get a letter like, hey, you overpaid or something like that. It comes, You get some money back is what I feel like is going on here too. All right, what else? <coughs> All right, do you have the sun? So this is good. This is very positive energy. It might be really, really hot where you are. You're like dying from the heat. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, something, something, like, look at this, the sun, look at this, it's burning, very hot, or you're going to have, a, like, a really hot week, hey, hey, some of you, um, like, doing some horseback riding as well, but, um, some of you might be getting a fever, temperature, pay attention if you're not feeling well, Something's going around, you guys. Stuff's going around. I mean, I guess if you're in a really hot climate, it's it's not. But if you happen to live in an area where the weather has cooled off abnormally, there are some illnesses going around. <clears throat> I'm also seeing something. There could be a child who will be significant to you this week. You might be babysitting. One of your kids might be home from school all week. Um, or you might be taking care of a grandchild as well. I'm seeing a blonde blonde baby, blonde child. Yes. Okay, you get the death card. All right. So there is an energy here of, um, there's like an ending happening and a new beginning. There's a transformation that's that's going to take place this week. Um, could be with a Leo or a Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, or a Libra. Major transformation and change. There's also this uh, moving on from someone this week. You may be moving on from someone this week. Or maybe you come to realize that something's over for the for the better. For some of you, it could be like really, because now there's a new beginning, a joyful new start. All right, you do have someone spying on you, talking about you, curious about you, looking for you also this week. 
It's a lot of communication. Somebody could be reaching out to you, asking you questions. Where you been? What are you up to? Who are you talking to? Who, you, who Like, what's going on in your life? Very curious type of energy. Seeking some kind of truth as well. Someone's trying to get... Yeah, I feel like somebody's going to reach out to you and try to get some information from you this week. They want to know about you, what you're doing, what's going on. You also have a King of Wands showing up here. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So you're going to be very significant in your life this week. Um, this person's very physically active. Although they do tend to like to rest more, so they might be older than as compared to like if they're younger. Um, but this person is very physically active and very positive energy. They're sitting in the upright as well, but... Oh, I just got a weird message and it's just so rated X that I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> Let me just... I feel like this King of Wands is... They got a, they're kind of have a thing for you. That could be masculine, feminine. We don't do gender here, but they've got a thing, like a physical thing for you. Okay. I'm hearing the name Raymond or Ray. Yeah, well, of course, because there you are, Virgo. Oh, you're looking good. You're going to be looking good this week, Virgo. Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, everything. You do have a love um, opportunity. It's going to be... Someone's in love with you. That's what I'm going to say. This King of Wands, right? Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. They are like, they're in love with. Uh, uh, there's a connection here with the King of Wands. Now, I don't know if this is new love or somebody you might already know. I'm not getting that it's a past, but it is. The lovers is a six, and the six can represent. Uh, reconciliation or communication so for some of you this could be a re like a reconciliation for others this could be like um reaching the stage where two people actually come together so it could be a new thing but i'm mm, it's hard to tell i'm not I'm, they're not giving me a hundred percent i would probably lean more towards a reunion kind of thing um so when i say that you might not have dated them before maybe you talked to them before or you guys know each other maybe like acquaintances some of you might have been in with this person before, but others, you might know of each other. And they're waiting for you. Okay. Yes, they're waiting for you. Let me just give you some messages of love. For this week. I'm starting to get a little tired, so I'm going to finish out. Sorry, for, sorry about that, you guys. I really wanted to be able to give you a reading. Um, once, you know, I started to feel a little bit better. We will be back to the normal routine, the charms, you know, the dates, the numbers. I appreciate you guys being very patient with me. I don't know how, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Friday night, I was so exhausted. Next thing I know, down for the count. <laughs> All right, see your messages of love, okay? So you do have time apart, so distance will help bring clarity, which is good. You also have play hard, Virgo. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Now that could be another person, a romantic partner. It could be friends and family as well. So try to play, have, to, this is just a message, is just to have a good time. Find things to laugh about. Firm boundaries are needed now, Virgo, so make sure. And we saw that over here that you're going to need to have your boundaries up in regards to um, you may feel pressured or someone, someone peop, a person or people, places or things may try to pressure you into doing something. Okay, one more and then I'm out. Oh, there you go. Finale. Decision. There's a decision. Time to decide about this relationship. So there's a decision to make here, Virgo. And this is pretty much your week. This stuff is going to come up and play out at any point, any time. For some of you, it might already have done that. might have already happened. And you're like, yeah, I already know. Maybe you haven't made the decision yet. But it, it's going to be time. This is the week they're saying to make that decision that you know you need to deal with. All right, Virgo. So the next, the readings for the rest of the week, I'm going to... um. I'm going to just do 10 to 15 minutes and just kind of, just sort of work my way back up to getting back to the longer reads, the more I feel 
I'm already drained just sitting here 15 minutes and I literally am not doing anything. I'm just pretty much getting in, in the kitchen to eat something or drink or take my medicine or just, I'm just resting. I'm not a big baby, believe me, but I don't know what it is. This has been horrible and it keeps getting to my voice. Like who the hell gets strep throat when you're like in your fifties? I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm not, I don't mean to go on. Um, I just want to say thank you. Please bear with me. Please stick around. Don't unsubscribe. Stay. We'll get through this together. I need you guys. I love you all very much. Happy birthday, and we'll see you all back here tomorrow. Okay, bye. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only.